welcome back, it's Shelby, and today we are DIYing ourselves a beautiful masquerade mask with just a few items that you can pick up from your local craft store. So it's going to be beautiful, glam, gorgeous mask for relatively cheap. If you can't find the items or just want them delivered to you, I will link everything I use down in the description below, along with my socials, as always, so you can make your own beautiful DIY masquerade mask at home. And uh, yeah, if you like the project, give the video a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and uh, Let's get into it. So the base of our mask is just a plain paper mask. You can get these for a couple of dollars at the craft store. It comes with elastic. Go ahead and toss that out. We're not using it. We are going to replace it instead with some cute little black ribbon. Super cheap, really thin. Um, I think this is like a quarter of an inch thick. It's very, very thin and it's kind of satiny. Basically just cut yourself a very long strand of it and cut it in half so that you have uh, two strands of ribbon and then just kind of burn the edges so that they don't fray on you and attach them to the sides of the mask. The mask has holes um, already in it where you attach the elastic so go ahead and just tie yourself a little square knot on both sides and then make sure that there's enough ribbon uh, hanging off the back so that you can tie it behind your head to securely fasten your mask to your face. Once you've got your ribbon on, I like to do this first so that the ribbon doesn't mess with the decorations, but once it's on, we can start decorating. I am taking a piece of fabric that is a bit of um, kind of gold shimmer fabric with a lace attached to the top of it, and I'm just going to fasten that securely to the mask using hot glue. I'm going to start with the eye hole because those tend to be the trickiest to get, and then I'm going to start at a corner once it's secured to the eye hole and just go around the edge with hot glue. I don't really need Need to put it on the middle of the mask part just secure it to the edges and um, secure it to the eye so that there's no gapping and the fabric is perfect so basically just work in sections from the edge and um, go kind of as slow as you need to to make sure that you don't get any bubbling or rouging of the fabric we just want it to lay nice and flat kind of alternate between the top and the bottom and then when you get halfway go ahead and consider doing the second eye hole rather than going all the way and trying to peek it in from the back. So you're just going to want to um, basically just, you know, smooth it out and get as close of a fit to the paper mask with your fabric as you possibly can. And then finish securing it to the final edge of the mask. And uh, yeah, then we're going to move on to trimming the fabric. So once everything is glued on nice and tight, just take your scissors and as close as you can to the edge of the paper, trim the fabric. Try really hard not to cut the mask because it's paper. It's like thick paper, but it's still paper and you can totally like cut off a corner pretty easily. But yeah, so I'm just doing some rough cuts first and then I'm going in with a little bit more precision, especially in the eye hole areas. Just get the mask um, as kind of cleanly edged as you possibly can. Don't worry if it's not perfect because up next we are going to take the same sparker or lighter that we used to kind of singe the edges of the ribbon and I'm using it just to very lightly singe the edges of the mask mainly because I don't want any fraying of my fabric and fabric is pretty easy to fray but I don't really want to like glue a ribbon around the edge of it or you know put anything on it and I don't want it to fray so just take your sparker and kind of lightly singe the edge of it and then also singe this the area inside the eye hole. It's a little bit trickier, but um, especially because the mask is paper, but try just to get a, a nice smooth edge on the fabric. This is great too, not just for sealing it against fray marks, but you can also use the fire to shape the fabric a little bit. So on a part that's kind of sticking out, you can kind of burn it a little bit more and make it a little bit more flush and smooth to the rest of the line. Now that your fabric is on your mask, we can decorate it because that's going to be the top layer. I found this really cool ribbon. It's um, a double layer of what looks like crystals. They're not actually crystals. It's kind of like these little plastic sockets and inside is like a shiny metallic, metallic silver color. Um, but they look like crystals, which is really cool because, um, well, they're plastic, they're not very heavy and they're not like actual crystals which can fall off or fall out. These are just kind of reflective little holes. So I'm working similarly to how I applied the fabric, just working on the edges, putting down a line of hot glue, and then 
laying the crystal tape across it. This does come with a sticky backing, but it's like basically pointless. So just rip the sticky backing off. And then to go in for the eye holes, I want something a little bit thinner than the edging. So I just cut it in half. The little plastic um, metallic carrier things are just kind of held together with this flimsy little mesh. So it's pretty easy to cut them in half to cut them to length to whatever you need it to be the specific specifications of the mask but just continue along this also is really great not only does it like give the mask character and decoration it also does wonders to hide any imperfections on the edging of your fabric or otherwise with the mask so um, little crystals or embellishments or just ribbon in general is a really great thing to add to all of the edges of the mask and this is really the place to add your own unique kind of look to the mask. Um, but I really just like the idea of honestly kind of giving the mask eyeliner. That's kind of how I view putting the crystals around it. So I think that's cool, but I'm attaching them all, making sure it all looks good. And then we will move on to the final piece of decoration, which is this really cool kind of marabou fe feather clip. Like that's all it is. It just comes on a little piece of felt backing. It's got a plastic clip. I think you're just supposed to wear it in your hair as is, but it's perfect just to clip onto the side. Look at that, I don't even have to glue it. It's pretty um, sturdy, so uh, yeah, it just kind of holds itself up. I'm gonna grab a different backdrop because it's a dark mask on a dark counter, but uh, yeah, this is basically how it turned out. So excited for this, but I think it's beautiful. I love the fabric kind of definition and the flirty feathers and the sparkling crystals. This is so great. This is really, really fun and uh, just a cute little DIY masquerade mask. All right, you guys, this is the completed mask. Is this not so cool? Look at this. I love, 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 love this. A little bit of sparkle. They're not actually real crystals. They are the kind of fake silver backed holes that just reflect light so well and look like crystals but the crystal can't fall out, so it's even better. The little clip-on marabou feather poof thing, and then some lace. It's actually like black lace over nude fabric, but they're combined and you can't even separate them, so that's perfect and disguises the white paper mask, but I love this. I think it turned out so, so well. I hope you did too. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Consider subscribing. I'd love to see you here again soon for more DIY craft tutorials and, um, yeah, thanks so much for watching. Bye for now.